What's up, dog? What's well, down, dog, really? So too often people just kind of flop their butts up into the air and call it a downward facing dog. When you're doing a downward facing dog, first of all, this is one of the most valuable stretches that you can add to your toolbox. So I'm gonna show you how we do it here today. Start with your hands, start in the table, you know, all fours, tabletop position. Feet hip width apart, hands shoulder width apart. You're gonna bring your knees up off the ground. You kind of wiggle your way back and get into a comfy position. Well, comfy, I say that, I say that with a little bit of uh, comedy to it. But what you're gonna do is grip with your raptor claws into the ground and start rotating these elbows out so that your shoulders sink into the sockets. Then you're gonna push your nose or your chest towards your toes and do your best to get your heels down. If they're not able to get down, they will. You just have to be, you have to be uh, consistent with this movement. Hips up, chest down. You can sway side to side. I call it pawing the ground. So we're swaying with our weight, with our hips, with our shoulders, gripping into the ground, getting a little bit deeper into this shoulder complex, getting a little bit deeper into this hip complex. And finally, for an added benefit, you can put clip one leg behind the other and shoot that hip up high, and now we're deep into that hip, into that left hip. I'm gonna switch back, deep into that right hip. You can make it a dynamic stretch by bending and extending, bending and extending. Two minutes is the minimum to get a lasting change. If you have dense musculature, stubborn musculature, go ahead and make it three minutes. Downward facing dog.